All right, if you have your Bibles, let's go ahead and open those up today. We are going to be in Jeremiah chapter 6, verse 16. And uh, we are, I was planning on wrapping up Rest God's Way last week, but I just sensed as I was praying, the Lord said, just a few more devotionals on this. I really want my kids to learn to come rest in me in these days. So today we're in Jeremiah 6, verse 16. And we're talking about going back to the basics, back to the basics. That's where the blessing comes from. Listen to this story. Race car driver Bill Vukovic won the famed Indianapolis 500 race in 1953 and 1954. So a few years ago, right? A record of success few others, few other drivers had matched. Asked the secret of his success in Indianapolis, Vukovic replied. He says, listen. There's no secret. You just press the accelerator to the floor and steer left. That's it. He said, you know, people want to make this stuff so challenging, so complex, so hard. But the secret is you do the basics. You do them well. And that's what God is saying to his people here in Jeremiah chapter 6, verse 16. If you want to have rest God's way, you're going to have to go back to the basics. Listen to this. Thus says the Lord, stand in the ways and see. And ask, watch this, for the old paths where the good way is and walk in it. Then, then, then. So you have to go back to the basics to have this rest. Then you will find rest for your souls. But listen, right at the end of this wonderful verse, there's a little warning that God gives to the children of Israel. He says, but they said, we will not walk in it. We will not walk in it. Jeremiah, the prophet inspired by the Lord, is saying to God's people, you got to go back to the old ways, the old wells, the the simple path, the things that God's word clearly says. And it's so important that we do this. You know, sometimes we don't need to move ahead as much as we need to go back. Sometimes we don't need to move ahead as much as we just need to go back to the basics, to the, the word of God, to prayer, to fellowship showing up at church and being a part, being used of God. You know, when was the last time you got to share the gospel? You know, you, you're, you're using your gifts and talents for the, the glory of God, for the expanse of his kingdom. These are the things that God is very interested in. And this is what we need to go back to, those old paths. Genesis chapter 26, uh, verse 18 specifically, Isaac Abraham, Isaac, Isaac is Abraham's son. He's, he's looking to revive and rejuvenate Israel. And the Bible says he will go back to the wells that his father Abraham had dug, and he'll redig those same wells, and then water will flow. And you know how dirt got in those wells? Well, listen, the Philistines, the enemies of God, were allowed by God's people, the Jewish people, to fill those wells that once flowed with water, living and life-giving water, and they were allowed to fill that with dirt, with dirt. In order for Isaac to have life-giving water again, he didn't have to re, he didn't have to dig wells for the first time. He had to re-dig the existing wells. That's what Jeremiah, that's what God is saying. Go back, go back, stand in the way and see. Go back to the good way, walk in it. Get back to the word. Today, maybe you're struggling with rest. You're not having the rest you once had. Go back to the old ways. I think of what uh, Jesus says to the church of Ephesus. He says, you're doing so many great things, but I have this one thing against you. You've left your first love. Repent. Go back to that first love. What did you used to do? Did you wake up early, sit with the Lord, pray? Was it your Bible open day by day, taking in his word, going, wow. You were willing to be humble. Now you're going, you know, I've arrived. I'm not going to be humble anymore. It's not going to work. Go back to the old ways, the old wells. Redig them. The things that the Philistines of this world have put dirt upon. Dig that out. Let the river flow again. Jesus said, out of your innermost being will flow rivers of living water. Rivers. That's what his desire is for you. That's what his desire is for me. So let's go back. Let's find rest God's way, going back to the basics, enjoying the Lord today. Be blessed in that. And Father, that's my prayer for your people today. God, that they would go back to the basics. 
that, Lord, as the enemy would come in or a super Christian would come alongside and say, it's very complicated. You must do this and that and this and that and up and down and left and right, Father, I pray, Lord, that they would get back to the simplicity that is in Christ, to the old ways, just getting the dirt out of the well that once flowed freely. May the joy of the Lord be your people's strength today. And we pray it in Jesus' name. Amen.